Hey guys, back with another video. This time, Blood and Plunder, my first one. Uh, I've seen this at Adepticon and had to start getting into this game. I, I, it's very fascinating and I've played a couple of land battles and it's been a very fun game so far. But anyways, let's get to the painting. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to prime the model black. Uh, I used some matte black uh, Krylon paint from Walmart, super cheap, works really well. Again, matte is sort of the, the way to go with this. And then the first color you're going to use is you're going to use the Apple Barrel Burnt Umber. I went super cheap on all my paints. I'm not using any type of high-end paints with this. Um, and you're going to want to dry brush. So as you can see, I'm dry brushing the entire model, um, all the decking, all the railing with this Burnt Umber. It does take some time, but uh, and you can be a little thick with the burn number to be honest but you you do want some of that black to peek through it'll help with some of the shadowing and your highlighting later so so you're gonna just coat through the whole model and it'll take you a little bit of time if you can try to work from the inside out um, and that way you have a little bit of a darker hue on like basically all the edges um, of the areas you're working and again that will help out you're also going to do all the mass um, sales that type of thing Make sure that your dry brush is semi damp not super damp you know you want it to be a dry brush but you want to uh, if you've dry brushed in the past your dry brushing will look a little grainy or powdery and this will help mitigate that is, is just adding a little bit of moisture in between each time you add paint to the brush just uh, take your bristles and put on a wet paper towel or a wet sponge make sure it's not too wet that's that's really important um, but this will help with any type of graininess the next paint you're going to use is you're going to use the burnt sienna by folk art honestly you could probably use the apple barrel it's going to look probably about the same i'd assume this time though we're going to dry brush just the upper portion so make sure on this model specifically, you, the that board that's going through the, the middle of the hull there, that's sort of our line that we're not going to cross. If you get some paint down there, not a big deal. We're, we will be painting it black, so you'll be easily able to cover that. Um, and then you're going to go to the inside of the rails too, so make sure you don't forget that. So if you need to go to a smaller dry brush to make sure you don't get it too much on the deck, that would be good. But I was able to paint this model in about three hours. Um, obviously, this is condensed down to about 12 minutes for you guys, just for your enjoyment. But yeah, you should be able to knock this out very quick. Went ahead and done the burnt sienna also on all the mass to help out. This model is available. I want to say it's Printable Scenery is the name of the group that done it. I will put a link in the description. Um, I do think this model is a better representation of a brigantine. Alright, the next paint that we're going to go to is Apple Barrel Territorial Beige. Nice light brown, almost a khaki color, not quite khaki. So, get a little bit on the brush there. Do some. Uh, I, so I really push it into the, the bristles of the dry brush. Um, you Definitely you can use this on, a, on any type of palette, like a piece of tile but this color I'm gonna work from the center out and again this is gonna help with trying to sort of keep those darker hues or the shadowing to the outside um, and it just makes it look a little bit more worn um, in my opinion so this is the only cup that you're just gonna be using this on the deck it should go fairly quick and again you might need to get a smaller as you can see I got a smaller dry brush there just to help out get into all the recesses on the uh, on all the side deck or the hall I guess not really the deck at that point try to highlight all the railing um, within the ship itself now you're not going to use it on the outside railing you're just going to use it on that inside railing maybe to indicate hey there's a little bit more wear and tear throughout the ship on the inside and that's that pretty quick Next color, you're going to go to matte black. I use Apple Barrel, but your matte black of your choice would probably work just fine. This time, I'm not using a dry brush. I'm just using a large, bristled, cheap brush, and I'm just going to use a downward uh, sort of stroke or technique here. 
and you're just gonna work it all the way down the bottom of the hull there. Nice little sort of separation line between the brown. This will look really nice uh, when it's all painted as you as you can see um, later on in the video. Pretty quick that's the only thing that we're painting black. Now we're going to go to Flamingo Red from Apple Barrel. I don't know what another color uh, would be uh, in another cheaper line of paints, but this is almost like a worn red. Like I, I think it has a really good worn look to it compared to a vibrant red, like a super vibrant, say just you know just straight red. This one, um, if you can, try to paint again into the middle and then work your ways to the outside. That will help again give it a more worn look and just have a lot more dark contrast to the outside without having to go in and do a lot of washes or, or like airbrushing and stuff like that. This gives you a really nice worn look without a lot of the effort that is needed to usually do that. So I go back in and I, I punch that color sort of right in the center of it. I don't get too far on the outside with that and it makes it look really nice. Alright, the next color you're going to use is uh, Fulgart Gilded Oak. It's a very, almost like oak, okra color. And again, I don't know why my video is pausing. For some reason, maybe it didn't transfer that well. But this is going to be your trim. Uh, basically, the two top boards there that you're going to see on the hull. You're going to run this and, and basically um, paint those in this yellow okra almost look. Again, nice it's not a vibrant yellow it just is a nice solid almost mustard color you know to give it that worn look I don't, you know back in the day I don't know if they would have had vibrant paints to go on this stuff so and you can see I'm just working it in and really you don't have to get the edges like the inside because again you're starting sort of wanting that dark contrast you know so really you just need to hit the top uh, there's no reason to get to the sides of it try to stay within the lines the best you can as you can see I'm running on the on the back here and now the other side there's a little bit of finesse to this try not to try to paint the best you can within the lines and it'll look better in the end so I'm using cheap brushes here you guys you don't need any fancy um, pro curl brushes or stable brushes for this stuff you can use these are just super cheap I think for the entire set four dollars or something at Walmart so okay that finished the the gilded color and now we're going to get to there we go the greedy gold army painter so now a more finer paint right you know not a super fine paint but this is going to uh, go on all the gold accents or brass uh, more of a brass color than it is gold to me it is a little bit more popular than a, a brass that you're going to use so ar an army painter brass or an antique color you gonna get all the rings on all the doors here goes pretty quick there's not a lot of gold accents or brass accents on the ship so try to do your best and, and really pick these little little um, pieces out now a little bit longer process you're going to use this on all the uh, the trim of the windows and it will make a really nice pop of, uh, appearance so this is probably the longest process as far as like your finer detail um, on this the back of this ship here again if you just really sort of use the edge of your brush not so much the tip uh, this is pretty easy to make sure that you stay within the lines and don't get it in the windows itself in the recesses and that's that now we're going to go to army painter scaly hide another very fun paint from army painter now we're going to use it more as an antiquing of a, a maybe a brass or bronze or even copper look um, we're going to antique the sort of the accents of the ship here on the front and the back and it does look really nice when it's done it just gives a different color and a nice little pop on on the ship itself 
this this uh, ship is uh, printed via FDM so it does have some lines in it but honestly after it's painted you can't really tell that it's an FDM printed ship so my next ship that I'll be doing on the video will be a uh, frigate uh, I will run it as a 6 to 8 frigate just for the simple fact uh, the the body the, the, like the actual scale of it's a little bit larger than the blood and plunder one so if I want to play it on this on a appropriate table size then it needs to probably be a six or eight frigate not just a light frigate all right that's the scaly hides from army painter goes pretty quick all right now the one of the last colors you're gonna use is apple barrel khaki you're gonna hit all the ropes as you can see, I did this off camera, I apologize. And then I also, I wanted to get to the rigging, so the rigging, I'll make sure I have that in the description. It's one millimeter bracelet making, it's elastic uh, band. It's, again, I'll have it in the description. I also have the YouTube video on how to do that. Next, you're going to, uh, we're gonna wash the model. First thing you need to do is you need to protect it, so you're gonna use a matte varnish. And then if you've never used an oil wash before, you're going to need mineral spirits with the oil paint. So I'm using burnt umber here from Windsor Newton. And then you're going to need to use older brushes because they're, they'll be dedicated to oils at this point. If you don't use a protective layer, especially with this cheap paint, it will start uh, over time. It'll make that paint, that first paint layer soft and you could possibly start taking paint off. So we, don't, we definitely don't want to do that. As you can see, it goes pretty quick. It does darken the model, but after it dries, it brings the model to one cohesive sort of paint scheme, right? So you don't see the difference in, from paint color to paint color, which is really nice. And it looks really good after it's done. All right. Now, I don't have a video of the actual model. Um, I just have pictures. So here's the model in its entirety with some cannons. I've got the swivel guns there. All the rigging and then I get the sails so the sails is just uh, EVA foam super thin and I use a um, an airbrush and get the lines and the weathering on there and there you are this is the completed model so I appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you guys like and subscribe I'll have more content coming uh, so stand by thanks again